Hey guys, this week we are going to be working on ways to get the lat muscles to activate optimally. We're going to show you some tips and tricks and we're going to be using a curtain rod, I can't even get it all in the frame, curtain rod or a broom or anything you have that you can use for leverage because I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks to really get this area firing. So using a broom or a dowel or anything that's long that you can use as resistance is going to really help you activate those lats. So the first thing that I want you to try to feel the activation here is I want you to take your hands and I want you to put them the thumbs away on the pole or the broom. Pulling away and I want you to think that your thumbs are to the side wall, you're pulling away. Your elbows and your shoulder is in straight alignment. So I want you to notice if that, that position is hard for you. If you tend to have forward head posture and shoulders that come forward, you're gonna to tend to have trouble getting in the proper upright position. And again, we're not leaning back and we're not excessively curling over. It's a tall posture, getting tall from the crown of the head to the ceiling, pulling apart on the broom. Now right here, you should start to feel a little bit of muscle activation, especially if you pull and then release pull and then release. You should be kind of feeling it right here. Now I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see that the lats are a muscle that runs from the shoulder girdle all the way down to your pelvic girdle. So it's a very big muscle and it goes along either side of the spine. So in order to activate that part of the body, you have to train yourself out of this forward posture that we all tend to have where we're kind of hunched over, opening things up and getting tall in your posture is going to help you tap into this muscle. The next thing that I want you to try with this is I want you to put your hands so your thumbs are away, okay? So thumbs are on the outside towards the side wall and you're gripping lightly with your hands and you're pulling apart. Now, it's not a pull apart so hard that you're, you know, you're gonna fall off the cliff if you don't grip it tight. It's just a just enough to start feeling some muscle activation in your back when you pull apart on that. So I want you to keep that and I want you to reach your arms straight out. Now right here, I want you to have your fingers off of the broom. So you're not gripping it. You're gonna be off the broom at the side. You've got it kind of in your thumbs. Your thumb is stretching tall to the side. Now I want you to hunch forward and let your shoulders come forward. Feel how that feels on your back. Your shoulder blades are pulling forward. Now I want you to think like you're pulling back. You're trying to touch the wall behind you with your shoulder blades. Now reach it forward reaching the shoulders forward, and then pulling back, like you're trying to touch those shoulder blades to the back wall. Palms are down on that dowel, pulling apart. Fingers are towards the floor, open palm, okay? So you're out like this. Now let's do that again. So we did it underhand, now let's do it overhand. Ready? Reaching the shoulders forward. You should feel kind of some pulling from the shoulder blades, pulling forward, and now, Retract those shoulder blades back, pull the shoulders down the back and activate. As you do that, you may start feeling it right in here. You're gonna feel it right there if you're getting the lats. I want you to think like that you've got a pencil here between the back of your shoulder blades and you're using the pulling to help you kind of squeeze that pencil together as you go back. That will not only work your arms, but it'll really help you get those lats. So one more time. Reaching out two, three, slightly hunch forward, and then pull the broom, pull it to bring it back. So you're retracting the shoulders in the socket. Now, very important here too, do not bend your elbows. That will not get the lats. You're gonna tune into this posture in the back to try to get those lats, okay? So you're thinking using those lats and you're not bending your elbow to get your shoulder in. Putting your broom down to the side for a second, I want you to stimulate the area with your hands. So I like to just, I like to literally just tap my back where my lats are. Anytime you're having trouble activating something, you need to touch it to bring the nerve awareness to that area. So you can just, you can like move side to side with your thumbs. You can just tap the back, whatever works for you. That in between these moves is really great for helping tune in to the back of the body. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is called the YW pull with this. So you should already start to feel something happening there in your back, noticing some tension maybe around this area where the lats are. But for this next thing, we're going to use the broom or the curtain rod. We're going to bring it up above the head. And we're going to bring it around towards the back of the shoulder. So this is at about the top of my shoulder 
and I'm thinking that my elbows are coming forward and my hands are going back. So you're gonna be wide on your curtain rod or your broom, wide, okay? Don't come in too close or you're gonna get your traps and not your lats. The wider it is, the more the muscle activation goes into the lats. I want you to think that your knees are staying out, you've got four fingers between the feet, knees stay out, you've got your second belly button pulling up to get that activation in the front of the body, tall with the torso. Now, I want you to push the elbows forward while you think that your hands are staying in the same place. But I don't want you to arch out. I don't want you to excessively curl under. I want you to keep it straight as you can. Knees stay out. I want you to push the elbows. Push, push, push. Do you feel any tightening around your bra line? And release. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Push the broom. Push and push, 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 push. Open palm. Pushes the broom. Elbows come forward. Ribs are stacked. You're not arching out. You're not excessively tucking under. Everything is stacked. Do you feel that? Inhale. Exhale. Those are the three that I want you to practice. Now, it can take time to tap into your lat muscles. If you are trap dominant or you tend to have a forward head posture, it can take some time for those muscles to start waking up. So try these throughout your week or try them before a T-tap workout and notice if you feel like you get more activation in the back of the body. Well, thanks once again for joining me for this week's tip. I would love to hear your feedback on this week's technique, if this helped you, or what is your favorite way, or what move do you most feel those lat muscles on? Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.